Hi, I'm Brooke Bland. I'm the student coordinator at Girl Scouts Diamonds of Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Today we are going to do one of the activities from the ABB Girls in STEM activity list. ABB is partnering with Girl Scouts to inspire girls in STEM. Girl Scouts in our council can earn a new ABB Girls in STEM patch by completing a STEM activity on their own, attending an upcoming event at the STEAM Center, the Cardboard Boat Regatta, and at ABB hosted events. This program aims to inspire girls to embrace scientific discovery in their lives. Today we will be completing the Marshmallow Puff Tube activity. Don't forget to take pictures of your girls doing the activity and send them to online at girlscoutsdiamonds.org. Now let's get started. This activity will take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete with about five minutes of prep and about five minutes of cleanup. You're going to need a pair of scissors, masking tape or transparent tape, a few spoonfuls of flour, marshmallows, and either a file folder, um, stiff paper, or cardboard. I found that a file folder or stiff paper worked better than cardboard um, when doing this activity. And you will need a ruler. First, what we're going to do is you're going to measure your file folder and you are going to cut it at 11 and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So pause this video to complete that. Once you have completed that, you're going to take your cut file folder and you are going to roll it into a tube. So how you're going to do this, you're going to take the long edge and you're going to put it against the other edge and you're going to roll it tightly like this. Um, before you tape it off, um, you need to make sure that your marshmallow fits snug around it, but not too snug where it won't move, and not to make sure your hole is not too big, um, so when you blow through it, that the air just passes right over the marshmallow. So pause the video, and you can tape your tube at one side and at the other, and then tape all the way down it. Okay, so you should have your tube. Um, you should have it taped all the way down and ready to go. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your marshmallow, and it might be a little bit sticky, so that's why we have the flour. So you're going to take your marshmallow, you're going to roll it in the flour. Make sure it's good and coated. And then you're going to tap it out to make sure you get rid of all the excess flour. Um, then you're going to put the marshmallow in one end, and you're going to blow. So if your marshmallow does not go anywhere, um, then it might be too snug around your marshmallow or it might be too loose. So mine fits pretty good, so when I blow it, it goes pretty far. Like that. <laughs> um, if it doesn't, then fix it. And you might get some flour in your mouth, but that's okay. Um, if you wanna try and mix it up a little bit, you can take your mar another marshmallow, or you can go pick up your marshmallow, make sure you clean it up, um, roll it again, and then if you put it in one side of the tube, blow on the other side. So then you can compare how far um, they went compared to how long and how far it had to travel through the tube. Um, to mix it up a little bit, you can also change the um, length of your tube. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, and then you can record and see um, the differences between the two um, or three lengths that you blew it. And that is how you make a marshmallow puff tube. Um, after you do something new, it's always a good idea to um, think about what you learned. Um, did you like it? Did you not? And what you might want to do next. So some questions to ask yourself after an activity like this is what did you find enjoyable? Um, why did you like it so much? What did you find challenging? How did you deal with your challenges? If your marshmallow didn't go, um, did you figure out, oh, my tube is too big, my tube is too small, I need to change it up? Um, how did you how did you fix your problem that you encountered? Um, what did you learn from this activity? Did you learn that um, marshmallows travel further in a longer tube or in a shorter tube? Did you find that the tighter your tube was around your marshmallow that it traveled less? Um, those are questions that you can ask yourself to see what you learned. 
Um, you can also ask yourself, did anything surprise me? Was I surprised how far my marshmallow went? Um, I was, I blew a marshmallow and it probably went about 12 feet over there. Um, that really surprised me. I did not expect it to go that far. The first time I tried this, it just went a couple of feet. Um, but the second time I did this here in this video, it traveled pretty far. So that actually did surprise me. Uh, and then you ask yourself next, um, what do you want to learn next? And that's important because you always want to be learning new things. Um, you always want to engage yourself. So you always want to be thinking about what you want to do next. Uh, and that's it. You have now completed the marshmallow tube activity. Um, now you can try some of the other activities out on your own. If you um, or your Girl Scout enjoyed this activity, please take pictures and email them to us at online at girlscoutsdiamonds.org. Once you have completed this activity or one similar to it um, on the ABB patch PDF, complete the patch form to receive your ABB Girls in STEM patch. Thanks and I hope you have a great day.